Now that Ghost Month and Friday the 13th are both finally over, what better way to bring in more good luck and fortune our way than to try out these 8 best Chinese good luck charms or feng shui charms. Some of them are actually used as feng shui cures while others are for boosting whatever it is that they want to manifest faster, whether love, wealth, good health, or even good luck in studies. Whether you are a believer or not, the following good luck charms can also be used as beautiful decors or accents in your everyday life. And today we're going to talk about how each of these charms work and where they're often used. Do keep in mind that this video is just for sharing timeless general information and if you need specific feng shui cures or other personal issues, it's best to check the current year's auspicious stars, your home's bagua, or consult a feng shui professional or some other professional you desire. Also, if you're planning to get one or have some of these already, make sure to cleanse them regularly before using at least once a year. Chinese Good Luck Charm Number 1 Piao or Pishu Piao or Pishu is a powerful protector that has a head of a dragon and body of a lion. It is Tai Sui or the Grand Duke's pet in Chinese mythology, and taking care of it puts you in good favor with the Grand Duke and reduces or eliminates the negative energy released by him in different areas depending on the sign per year. It is advisable to put Piao opposite the location of the Grand Duke for the year but make sure its head and mouth are facing the Grand Duke's direction. So in the years of the pig and dog for example, the Grand Duke is located in northwest, so it's advisable to put Piao in southeast with its mouth facing northwest. If it's year of the rat, the Grand Duke then moves to the north, so it's best to put Piao at the south facing north and so on and so forth. Aside from being a strong protector, Piao is also commonly regarded as a wealth symbol, so it is often incorporated in bracelet charms to attract or retain good luck in money. However, it is not recommended to be worn by everyone. There are certain people who must avoid wearing it such as those who only want to get rich quick or have bad intentions, else this will make them worse. Is that also advisable to be worn by kids, elderly, and pregnant women because Pio is a powerful creature and they may not be strong enough to use it every day and might end up getting hurt instead. Chinese Good Luck Charm Number 2 Bagua Mirror One of the most popular feng shui charm and good luck symbol is the Bagua Mirror. There are actually different kinds of Bagua mirrors and they have different purposes too. The most common type is the flat one which can be used both indoors or outdoors, preferably not at the front door though because aside from deflecting negative energy, it deflects positive energy from coming in too. The best and safest type to use at the front door is the concave Bagua mirror, especially when your home is facing a large object that creates certain energy blockages such as a huge tree, electric tower or post, a hill or a mountain. The concave bagua mirror can absorb any negative energy that bounces from them to your home or which directly come from them such as in the case of electric posts while still allowing positive energy to enter your home. The most dangerous type of bagua mirror is the convex one. It's best to consult a feng shui master when using it and better ask for any alternatives first because this type is pretty extreme. This should not be used against any annoying neighbor or your problem with them might just get worse since, unlike with a concave bagua mirror which absorbs the negative energy, with convex bagua mirror, the negativity continues bouncing around and might even multiply over time. Usually, the convex bagua mirror is only used during desperate scenarios such as if your house is facing a cemetery, hospital, or prison. But again, it's best to consult a feng shui master first for possible alternatives instead of using this for it might just make things worse. Chinese good luck charm number 3, Feng Shui Lucky Coins Aside from being used as a feng shui cure to add a metal element in a certain area of your home, these Chinese lucky coins are also used to bring in wealth and prosperity. These coins are round to represent heaven, while their square hole in the middle represents earth. The active side which usually has four Chinese characters in it represent the yang while the receptive side has two Chinese characters in it and represent the yin. If used as a manicure, these Chinese lucky coins can be placed with the yang side facing up on your office desk or near the cash register if you're running a business. They can also be placed in your home near the place where you keep your personal finance papers just as a small vault. They can also be kept inside your wallet or tucked under a rug at your home's front door. If used as a feng shui cure in an area, 
These lucky coins are usually grouped together in threes using a red thread or ribbon with a mystic knot in it to attract more good luck, aside from being able to easily suspend the coins near a door or window. Three feng shui lucky coins tied together means being constantly blessed by the trinity of heaven, earth, and mankind, so prosperity continues flowing in and wealth is always replenished. Six feng shui lucky coins, on the other hand, means heavenly luck, so you will chance upon great opportunities more often and can lead to more abundance in your life. And lastly, tying nine feng shui lucky coins together signals completion and means keeping what you have earned to have long-term prosperity. Chinese Good Luck Charm Number 4 The Mystic Knot Also known as the Endless or Eternal Knot, it consists of six infinity knots tied together to attract harmonious chi and can benefit every area of your life. So it is a very versatile good luck symbol usually incorporated in other charms such as the Chinese lucky coins mentioned earlier. The intertwining of the six knots symbolizes the yin and yang flow of the past, present, and future, and having no indication where the knots begin and end reflects the Buddhist philosophy of endless birth and rebirth. This encourages stability and even protection for long-term abundance and long life. Mystic knot can also be used to attract harmony among family members if used at home or among work colleagues if used in the office. It can also be used as a symbol of eternal love if displayed in the bedroom or paired with mandarin ducks, so it's also a great decor for married couples. Chinese good luck charm number 5, Wind Chimes Just like the Bagua mirror, there are different types of wind chimes too, for different purposes. Either as a way to energize an area and prevent stagnant energy from building up, or to dispel possible bad energy flow from coming in. Usually the ones with hollow rods are used for energizing an area, while the ones with solid rods are used to cleanse and deflect any negative chi. Aside from promoting a balanced energy flow, the sound coming from wind chimes can help harmonize our cerebral hemispheres to it is good mood and relaxation. Wind chimes are made from various materials with bamboo wind chimes being the most relaxing one to use and listen to. Metallic wind chimes on the other hand can help enhance one's professional life or career while ceramic wind chimes are best used for clearing energies similar to ceramic singing bowls. Be careful when placing different types of wind chimes in certain areas of your home or workplace though. It's best to check the direction of flying stars for the year and the areas bagua for optimal benefit. Chinese good luck charm number 6, Crystals. Another good luck charm being used not only in relation to feng shui but also in spiritual endeavors and have gained increasing popularity over the years are crystals. Aside from being an attractive accessory in addition to your wardrobe, crystals, particularly gemstone crystals, emit their own vibrations which can help activate different areas of your life. The small ones often used as accessories like bracelet charms or necklace pendants may or may not have noticeable effect or may only induce placebo effect depending on the crystal's quality and if whether or not it's genuine or fake. There are bigger versions of these gemstones too that can be used not only as beautiful ornament in your home and office, but also as feng shui cures like the gem or crystal tree to harmonize certain types of energy flowing in. For protection and cleansing, tourmaline, tiger's eye, and clear quartz are the best together with smudging using sage. For grounding and stability, Hematite is the ultimate stone for that but if you find it too powerful as if you're being sucked down and starts feeling lethargic, then you may switch to smoky quartz stone instead. For balance, healing, and overall luck, jade, which is popular among Chinese, does the work. Amethyst also helps too, especially in connecting yourself to the divine. For some boost in romance, there's another popular gemstone, rose quartz for that. And for boosting good fortune and wealth, you may use citrine gemstones along with other special feng shui charms for wealth, such as the money tree and the wealth jar. Chinese good luck charm number 7, the lucky bamboo. Another good luck charm for long-term prosperity and general abundance is the lucky bamboo, but it isn't really a traditional Asian bamboo. It's actually a type of orchid, despite looking like a miniature bamboo plant, originating from Central Africa. It's a great indoor plant because aside from requiring little sunlight, it doesn't need to be fertilized and can be left on its own for even a few weeks without getting any plant parasites and other problems. Ideally, water should be replaced every week though and it should be replaced at room temperature, preferably not lower than 12 degrees Celsius. As a Chinese good luck charm, the lucky bamboo can embody the complete five feng shui elements if planted on the correct pot. 
However, like the Chinese lucky coins, most of the lucky bamboo's magic comes from how they're arranged together. The kind of auspicious energy it attracts depends also on the number of bamboo stalks. A single lucky bamboo stalk is great for new beginnings, so it's a popular gift among those starting a business or new line of work for it promises future growth and strength for long-term success and wealth. Two lucky bamboo stocks, on the other hand, can double your luck when it comes to having harmonious relationships, whether romantic or platonic, and general happiness. Three lucky bamboo stocks is also popular because not only does it bring great fortune in terms of wealth and happiness, but it attracts long life as well. Four lucky bamboo stocks is never used and also considered highly unlucky because the number four in Chinese or shi has negative connotations so you should never give someone this for it's really rude to do so or you might only get bad karma if you give this to your enemy. Five lucky bamboo stocks gives extra auspicious chi for your general well-being as it boosts each area of your life that can affect your level of abundance, also known as life sources of wealth, which are emotion, intuition, mind, body, and spirit. Six lucky bamboo stocks attracts great opportunities for prosperity because number six in Chinese, or Liu, is considered lucky and also means flow or smooth or generally well-off. Seven lucky bamboo stocks is for those who need extra good luck when it comes to having great health. The number 7 in Chinese or qi means life essence. However, number 7 isn't always considered good luck for it is also associated with the 7th lunar month, also known as the ghost month. 8 lucky bamboo stocks is highly auspicious for growth and even fertility, with number 8 in Chinese or pa meaning to prosper and having twice the happiness. So don't be surprised when many Chinese shops use several 8s in their course of business such as having several 8s in their telephone numbers or business address and sometimes even safety deposit boxes. 9 lucky bamboo stocks means general good luck and aside from being a great wedding favor, because 9 in Chinese also sounds similar to their term for a long-lasting or jiu, it was also historically associated to the Chinese emperor. 10 lucky bamboo stocks means completion, contentment, and perfection. If you receive this as a gift, be very grateful because it means the sender wishes you well to get everything that you want in life the way you like it. 21 Lucky Bamboo Stocks is another one usually given as a gift instead of bought for personal use. You may give someone this arrangement as a powerful blessing for overall abundance, not only for the receiver but to his or her family too. And last but not the least, Chinese Good Luck Charm number 8. The 8 Immortals Across the Sea or Pa Xian Guo Hai. Consisting of six male and two female deities, the eight immortals carry special lucky objects and are usually painted as a group in a sailing ship with a dragon head crossing some body of water in different kinds of Chinese art. Combining these deities, their lucky objects plus the symbol of dragon head sailing ship together means powerful blessings for all kinds of success. Overall, the eight immortals assist in fulfilling the eight general aspirations of mankind, namely literary skills, business acumen, recognition, reputation, wealth, discipline, integrity, and humanity. A sculpture or framed picture of the eight immortals is best placed in the busiest area of your home such as the living room or in offices, but make sure they are not directly facing where you sit often or else it's like opposing or confronting them, which is not really a good sign. So ideally, they should be placed above your favorite seat or sofa so that you and the eight immortals are facing the same direction. You can also place them near your home's main entry, but avoid placing them in your bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, and garage. So which one of these Chinese good luck charms resonate with you the most or have you used any other lucky charms not yet featured here but proven to work for you before? Let us know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video or find it helpful, kindly press the thumbs up, it means a lot to us. And if you're new in the channel, hello and welcome. You may consider subscribing and to make sure not to miss an upload, you may also click that notification bell icon. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.